What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. I've been running this campaign, this video advertising campaign, just for a few days, but I've got it up to about $100 in what I've spent total. So what I want to go over is understanding some of the different results from your video advertising campaign and the different columns that you're going to see here in Google Ads. So I'm really going to be only be going over columns and the segment portion here, just so you can kind of understand your data a little bit better as you start running your video advertising campaigns. So first let's come over here to columns and let's just say we want to modify columns. So I'm going to get rid of all the different columns that we have here because we'll add them all again. So the three columns that are automatically there, campaign, budget, and status. So if we come in here to recommended columns, they're going to show conversions, cost per conversion, conversion rate, and our optimization score. So we can add all four of these columns there. Okay, so we'll add those four columns. And now once we click apply, those columns are gonna be added here. So next what we're gonna do is come back over to columns and we wanna again do modify columns. You can do some of these built-in columns such as views, obviously would work well for a video campaign. So our total views, our view rate, our cost per view, earn views, who watched the video. So I'm gonna add those to this campaign, but what we're gonna do is come over to columns again. We're gonna do modify columns. So this takes all of those columns that we have with the views Again, we'll just get rid of these real quick because I want to show you where they are. So next is going to be performance. So performance is where you're going to find a lot of these different statistics for our campaign. So let's just say cost. Let's do clicks, impressions. We'll do our click through rate. All video ad sequence impressions. Okay, so we're going to add that there. Even though we didn't run a video sequence campaign, we're going to add this here. All interactions. So we can do our interaction rate. Keep scrolling down our average cost per click. We can do our average cost per view, our average cost per engagement. Let's come up here. Instead of doing interactions, we'll do engagements. Okay, and then we'll do the engagement rate. Next, view rate, average watch time per impression, watch time, views, average CPM. We'll keep scrolling down. Video, play to 25%, 50%, 75%, and then impression, co-view, number of people who saw your video ad. So that's gonna be for performance. You're gonna find most of everything in performance for your campaigns if that's what you're, if you're looking to modify your columns. Now just looking at some of these different options here. So set up number of eligible ads, disapproved ads. So if you're having issues with getting your actual advertisements approved or eligible, you can come into setup here and then make sure that everything is actually eligible. You don't have any disapprovals. Viewability, so viewable impressions, non-viewable impressions average viewable CPM. So you can enter this here. These are gonna be more for some of your display campaigns. Conversion, so we've already added a bunch of the conversions here. But what you can do is enter a few more of these different columns. So we'll keep coming down. Attribution, so same thing. We're looking at conversions, looking specifically at our current attribution model. So some of these start to get a little bit more advanced as you start looking at attribution, attributes. So you can add all of these different columns to your actually results when you're looking at your campaign and get a little bit more idea of maybe where you're losing some of your impression share. So there's a lot of different options here. YouTube earned action, so we'll add all of these. Okay, so I think that'll be the end of the video advertising. Change history, no, we're not gonna change. Reach metrics, so we can do average impression frequency per user and we'll do unique users, okay? And that should be good right there. So you can see all these different columns that we have. So when you're looking at your campaign, you can look at all of these different statistics for a video campaign. We'll click on apply. These always change these columns depending on the type of campaign you can run. And they've added a bunch of different columns over the years. So looking at my campaign, my budget, I have a $500 total budget for this campaign running until the middle of October. Status is eligible. Optimization score 97%. Now, I have spent $96.50 for this campaign and it's driven 62 clicks. I have driven a total of a little over 15,000 impressions. My click through rate is 0.41%. Average cost per click, $1.56. Now before we get keep going to average cost per view, clicks includes any click on our advertisement. So people who are clicking on our call to action button, people who are maybe clicking on our beachfront decor brand, any click on our advertisement is gonna count as a click. So we're gonna keep scrolling over. So our cost, again, 96.50. dollars 
So we're gonna come over here. Our average cost per view was nine cents. So let's see how many views we drove, 1,033 views. So with $96.50, our average cost per every single view was nine cents. Now total engagements was 1,323. That counts every single video view, any single click on our advertisement, any engagement whatsoever on our advertisement is going to count as an engagement. So our average cost per engagement was seven cents per engagement. Engagement rate, 8.79%. View rate, so this means every time our ad had an impression, people who actually watched the full video advertisement. Okay, so next couple, watch time, this is measured in seconds. So out of the 1,033 views, our total watch time was 23,763 seconds. So our average watch time per impression was 10.9 seconds. So when our video advertisement's actually being shown, that's how long people are watching it on, at, on average. And let's say we're running 30 second video ads, that means people generally watch about one third of our video ads every time there's an impression. Obviously a lot of people are skipping the video advertisement, so if we keep scrolling over, our average CPM, so for every single video impression that we had, if we come over here, our total impressions 15,000, and we obviously spent around $96, so our cost for every thousand impressions was $6.40. It's actually a pretty low number here, and when we're coming over here and we're looking at our average cost per view, nine cents, I would say around 10 cents is kind of what you should expect for a cost per view. It could increase if you have a very large budget. It could increase depending on who you're targeting. So the larger the audience is that you're actually targeting, the less your cost per view is gonna be and vice versa. If you have a very targeted audience and you have a narrow inventory, obviously it's gonna cost you more per view because Google Ads is gonna to try to find people within that smaller audience. So depending on who you're targeting, what you're targeting, the types of audiences, where you ha are targeting, and how well your video advertisement is performing, that will make up your average cost per view along with your average CPM. Now keep in mind the most important thing for any of your video campaigns is your conversions. So my campaign didn't drive any conversions, but what I realized after I set it up is I actually imported the wrong conversion into Google Ads. So you wanna make sure your conversion tracking is set up properly first and foremost. This campaign was just run as an example, so I'm not overly concerned about my uh, conversion tracking not being set up perfect. But if you do notice that you're running your campaign and I noticed immediately that your conversion tracking is not set up properly, then you wanna make sure you actually fix that before you keep running your campaign. So the next thing you're gonna see is video played to. So with this, what you're doing is you're looking at the impressions. So 15,000 total impressions. Out of those impressions, 39, let's just round up and say 40% of the time, people watched 25% of the video. So 12.16% of the time, people watched 100% of the video. So when you're looking at these numbers, the best way to interpret it is you want a very high percentage for 75%, 100%, because that means people are actually sitting there and watching your video advertisement longer. If you're seeing much lower percentages here, that means people are probably skipping your ad much more often. So again, that's gonna depend on what you're promoting. A lot of different factors go into that. Now, a few other things, earn likes, earn shares, earn views, earn playlist edition, earn subscribers. All of these are any interactions people take with your channel after viewing a video advertisement within seven days. So I have 11 earn views that means someone watched my video advertisement and then within seven days of the initial view watched another video on my linked YouTube channel. So a total of 11 earned views and zero elsewhere. So that means nobody subscribed to my channel, nobody liked one of my other videos, nobody shared any of my other videos, which I don't really expect because I was promoting for beachfront decor, all basically just based around uh, you know, some different some different decor type videos. So nothing really overly useful that people are gonna say, what else can I watch on this channel? So again, the earned likes, shares, views, playlist editions, and subscribers definitely do a lot better for channels like a Surfside PPC that has some educational content because people might watch one of my videos and go and say, I wanna watch other videos from this creator. So we're not seeing a ton of earned likes, shares, views, and I don't really expect to see that for this type of campaign. So that pretty much makes up all of the different columns and statistics for video advertisements. I wanted to go over some of the different ways you can understand whether or not your video ad was successful. Most importantly, you wanna look at this data here. 
your conversions, your cost per conversions. If you have a value for every single conversion, pull in that value so you can actually measure your return on ad spend. So you wanna make sure you're measuring all of that first and foremost. And then obviously you want your video advertisements to get people to come and subscribe to your channel, come and watch some of your other videos, share, like, add things to their playlists. So if you're getting more of those engagements on your videos, that means that your message is actually resonating with people, your brand is actually resonating with people. So you might not see a ton of these, especially if you only spend $100 on a campaign. But if we keep coming over, our video play too, obviously you want these percentages to be as high as possible. That means people are watching your videos. Now coming back over here, let's click on columns one more time. And what I wanna show is target frequency. So with target frequency, you can see my average impression frequency per user over the last seven days was 1.1. That means on average, out of all these impressions and all the people that actually saw the impressions, people had an average of 1.1 impressions per user. So for the most part, people were seeing the advertisement one time. So just another thing you can see if you come over here to columns. Now let's come back here to views one more time. And what we can do is segment our views, our view rate. So if we click on segment, we could do it by device. So I like looking at device data because you can see Okay, most of our views came from mobile phones, not really all that surprising. 96 views from computers, seven cents per view. So you can always adjust your targeting to make sure you're maybe optimizing for computers, maybe you wanna optimize for tablets. You could try to optimize for TV screens. So you'll see some of these different, our view rate, um, as far as our average cost per view, our cost. So you can actually look at all this data and connect it to an actual device now again, most of our stuff is coming directly from mobile phones, so keep that in mind. All of our earned views are from mobile phones. And then if we're looking for people watching our full video, so the basically the bigger the device, the more people watch, the longer that people will watch it. But what that means is for mobile phones, a lot of times people are more engaged in their mobile phone than they are on computers, tablets, and TV screens, because people are actively clicking on a video, watching it on their mobile phone, and then they're gonna be more likely to actually just skip that advertisement directly from mobile. So you can segment some of this data as well. You can also segment, if you go to time, you can say hour of the day. So if you wanna make sure your ads are running at certain hours, obviously you can always adjust your ad schedule. Okay, so we're gonna scroll down and now you can see we're looking at every single hour of the day. So for the most part, 5 a.m. looks like the main hour that we got most of our views, but it was pretty scattered throughout the day and then at night, not really a whole ton of views here. So. Again, this is gonna change. I only ran this campaign for a couple of days, so you can see right here, you're not gonna get a ton of data for this campaign, but just kinda of wanna go over some of these different options to understand your video results. You can segment by all of these different factors, and then going into columns, you can see exactly how long people are watching your videos, who's engaging, and whether or not your videos are resonating with some of the earned actions. Obviously, conversions first and foremost, that's where I always focus on but you can look at all of this different data and see you know, who's watching your video, the frequency distribution, how many people have watched your video one time, one or more times, two or more times. So you can look at a lot of this data and you'll get more data as your advertisements run. So come into columns, you can create the custom columns here. So if you just go into modify columns, create all the different columns here and you can save that column set, which could be useful if you're running a lot of video advertising campaigns. So generally the columns you're gonna see, clicks, costs, impressions, cost per conversion, conversion rate, conversions. So those are gonna be the main columns you see, but if you do come here, there is a lot more data you can actually get from your campaign. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.